So, welcome to the channel. Uh, in the previous video, I show you a demo uh, how to uh, to a app uh, in which we can convert the HTML into image and we can download as well in the mobile device. And the application is in ionic capacitor. So, this is currently you are, see, you are able to see the same app in the browser. So, I will show you the code uh, how this works for all the mobile devices and as well as on desktop uh, browsers so currently i am on my windows laptop and i just open this application on my browser chrome browser and let's try to download this so this is the div whole div and here is the download button so let's click ok and you can see the file is downloaded in jpg format and you can see the exact same HTML is downloaded as image. So this is the thing uh, we uh, we had uh, completed in our current code. And for this, you have to install two plugins to convert the HTML into image. You you have to install this plugin in your Capacitor app code npmi html to image this plugin is required and to download the file that particular image in your mobile devices you have to install the capacitor file system plugin this plugin for the browser desktop browser we have to write some other code i will i will show you later so for mobile devices downloading you have to install this plugin and to convert first we convert the html into image then we can download so First, we have to use this plugin, and after this, in mobile device, we have to use this to download that particular image. So, if you check the code, if we check the code, we have two pages basically HTML image, HTML page, HTML page, and our TS file. So, let's check the TS file first. Uh, in this TS file, we have import three, we have import other plugin many plugins but for now for this purpose we have we, we we required three plugins and that is HTML to image from HTML to image plugin which we already uh, installed here and I will put the link of that plugin in the description of video and other is file system and directly from capacitor file system and third one is platform from ionic caps ionic slash angular platform is basically required to identify the app which is currently running on uh, android ios or uh, desktop windows application so this platform is required and we can write the code accordingly if the if the app is running on android ios downloading code changed we use this plugin to download the image and if it's running on desktop browser uh, we can use some other code so let's check the code first so we have a download method here and when the download method called it asks for permission first and if we click ok then then below code will be executed so so html to image have a method to jpeg where we pass the ID of that particular HTML div, uh, which we have to convert in the as an image. So this is the ID. Basically, I will show you when when we check the HTML part. So this is the ID of that particular div, and what is the quality? So we mention the quality 0 0.95. So it returns the promise, and promise have a callback function which return the data URL of that image converted image. So data URL is nothing but a base 64 string uh, of that image. So HTML to JPG method gives the base 64 of converted image. And inside this function, we just uh, use the platform um, platform plugin to check either it is Android or iOS or uh, something different. So, if the platform is Android or iOS, we use file system, file system dot write file to download the converted image. And inside write file, we have to pass some parameter like path. What is the path? So, basically, we mention the path as a name 
of the image so the name is always every time it will be different because we set the current time as the name of the file and we mentioned dot jpg jpeg as the extension as this is the jpeg file and data is basically what is the data of the image data is absolutely this data url base 64 of that converted image we pass here and directory is nothing but directory dot document so you will uh, just save the particular image converted image inside the document directory of the your phone so this is for the mobile devices and if it is running on your browser desktop browser you have to simply create a element anchor element in the memory uh, create element document dot create element a and we have to pass some property uh, like link dot download uh, download what is the download this is the name of the part basically this is the name of the file we assign inside, inside the download property and rape is basically the data url which con of the converted image so anchor tag we have rape property which is assigned by data url and finally after this when these property are assigned we just call the click method of the particular anchor method which downloaded the uh, file so basically the for the desktop browser we create a anchor element in the memory and after assigning the property we just call the click method of that particular anchor element so currently in the starting i show you a demo that is running on the browser desktop browser which call this code basically and in the last video of, on this youtube channel i show you demo of uh, in mobile devices which called this code to download and for both of them the html to jpg method will be same like uh, when we run on the desktop browser it called the same when we running the on the mobile devices so this is the basic code and absolutely from the html part when the download button is clicked this method is called so when we see the html you can see this is the id this is the id we mentioned in the download method and this is the whole div and inside this button we have the button which call the download method so this is the code hope you understand all these things thanks for the time we will back soon with some other video thank you